Holy crud. Welcome to my new series. This is the first episode. I'm going to be playing what's on the screen right here. Earth Defense 4.1 4. The Shadow of New Despair. Alright, so I played this a little bit already. I have played this game in the past. Um, I have it for PS3. This is on the PS4 now. It's a new, better version. Um, I'm going to just start over from the beginning. My idea for this series is to put is to play every single one of these missions. Um, single player? And there's like over 90 missions, so this should take me a while to get through everything. Um, and this game is really fun, it's just absolute chaos. It's basically um, the movie, uh, was it Space Troopers or I think Star Troopers, there we go. Yes, I think that's right. All the bugs. You basically are just killing bugs with large weaponry and bullets. So I have a shotgun and this huge rocket launcher. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, okay, let's start this first mission. I've done the f these five already. Um, just because I wanted to play it. I just got it. It's new. Or it's new to me. I think it's been out for a little while now. Um, Anyway, it's awesome. So, so I'll just start up the first first so mission right now. Uh, I'll be doing this on normal difficulty, so Deploying. it's more fun. <laughs> Here we go. This is a special news flash. We are broadcasting to you live from the scene. What in the world? Wait. What in the world? Oh my God! Ants. <laughs> Years ago, the insects actually survived. Oh no. This game is so amazing. Ants that size would be absolutely terrifying. They could basically just do whatever they wanted. I feel like this game doesn't accurately represent how strong those ants would be in real life if they were that big. Um, I'm kind of glad they don't. Oh yeah, look at our tanks. Alright, so I have this reticle up, or like a mini-map up in the top right. That shows me where all the enemies are. There's all the red dots. So it's pure chaos time! And everything in this game blows up. So I can shoot this. Check this out, this is tight. Oh, what? This thing better break. Now that I said everything, there we go. Ah! <laughs> I'm saving the city by destroying it. Watch out guys, get out of the way. You're gonna die from either rockets or ants. Oh look at that one slide in, like Michael Jackson. Oh, I think I just hit a person. Oops. Okay, and there's the good- oh yeah, there's these goodies right here. The weapons, uh, you definitely want these. At the end of the match, you will have a new weapon, potentially. The armor is good too. When you're done with the match, it gets added to your armor, um, to your max armor. Right now I have 242 armor. When I started playing this, I had 200 armor. So. I have picked up 42 of those little armor rectangles right here. And here's another weapon. Sweet! I haven't really taken any damage. So apparently playing this on normal is super easy. I was playing this two player with one of my friends on hard. Uh, and it was really hard. <laughs> 
So the difference between normal and hard is dramatic. Watch the perimeter. Yes, we haven't seen giant insects in seven years. Why now? Uh, because they really want to show up. And if you hit pull the other the left trigger, you get to do this like roll when you hold either left or right. Otherwise, you just jump. Actually, rolling is faster than walking. This, you might see me rolling to the side to get across the map, because it's a little quicker. You might. It's like, this is very, um, this has like a very arcade type feel to it. Which is kind of pure chaos. A lot of explosions and lots of things happening. Um, it gets very difficult at times. Not this, not this first one. This is the first mission. Infantry, stay close to the armor. Yeah, stay close to all that armor, dog. Just thoraxes and limbs flying everywhere. In which way? I wonder if I can get in one of these tanks. So I won't even need to use my shotgun in this round, because I have the shotgun in case I get picked up by spiders. Uh, it works good to kill spiders without killing yourself. <laughs> uh, but just ants, I just blow them up with rockets. It's fun. I mean, you hit your teammates sometimes, but it doesn't really matter. You don't really need them. <laughs> they're, just, they're just computer people. Okay, there's another, another weapon. I got a lot of weapons in this round. Oh, there's another one over there. Let's look at this armor, too. Whee! Alright, so there's another wave of ants coming this way. Look at all of them. It's got like a serious Sam vibe to this game. Just waves and waves of enemies sometimes. It's so cool. I don't know why. It's, there's so much destruction. I just like. I just love it. <laughs> and it's so cheesy and like, oh, it's like, it's so humorous to me. This whole concept, this game concept is amazing. It has to be Japanese. This just feels so Japanese. Oops, sorry dudes. <laughs> uh, I might be more dangerous to my teammates than these ants. Holy crud. Oh, I missed. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, this weapon. I have to get it. Die, guys! Screw you, Ant! You're dead! Oh, we got this on lockdown. I don't even think I took damage. Well, the PS3 version of this, when, when you have that many enemies, it would lag out so bad. This one is... this one's much better. I'm sure it'll lag out at some point because this game gets absolutely insane at points. 
That's just ridiculous amounts of enemies on the screen. The weapon over here. Gotta get it. Sometimes it's a good idea to leave a few enemies on the in the game while you run around and pick things up. But oh, there's another one. Man, is this like the tenth weapon? On oh, so many. I think you can. I think some of these end up being this like duplicates. So I probably won't actually get as many as I'm picking up. But believe it's random. All right, let's kill him. Mission should be over. Woohoo! Victory! Nothing like a good bug slaughter. Rockets and guts. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I unlocked the MMF 40. Another Buffalo G1. I already have that. The Air Tortoise O1. I already have that. Another Buffalo. Yes, he's. A lot of these are repeats. Uh, the Proto Reverser. I don't have that. But the only new one I got is the Proto Reverser. And I added 14 to my armor, which is nice. Let's see what these are. So I got the shotgun as the buffalo. Sweet. This thing is really cool, but when you run out of when you run out of ammo, it seems to be that's it. Like you can't you can't use any more ammo after you've run out. I don't know. It's really good laser, but I have no idea how you re reload it. Uh, the assault rifles, meh. That's your starting weapon. Shotgun's really good at close range. Sniper rifle is pretty cool. Uh, my friend was doing pretty good with it. This is usually what I use is just the rocket launchers because they're amazing. This air tortoise I think is only good for um, really long range combat against really large robots because later on in the game there's like there's probably going to be like these huge um, walking robots and I've on the PS3 version, I used weapons like this. Take those down really easily. Um, but otherwise, it's way too slow, and you don't want to use this in any other cir circumstance. Uh, grenades, I don't really like them. Uh, they're probably good. The grenade launcher is pretty cool. Torch, no idea. Doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> I don't know when you use this. It might be for a mission or something. Uh, and then this is the what we just got. So what does it do? A special piece of equipment that sprays nano machines, which can cluster and harden to form invisible armor or close wounds. Nice. Use both to fix damaged armor and to heal friendly soldiers' health and vehicles' durability. No, since prolonged exposure to nano machines can be harmful, these nano machines are programmed not to engage the user directly, which means no self-healing. Since nano machines are difficult to produce to this equipment is very limited in quantity and cannot be reloaded. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like these two weapons are probably only used for when you're inside of a vehicle and you need to repair it, I guess. I've never had to use these yet. That's probably in later missions I've never actually seen. Because there's so many missions in this game, it's crazy. Anyway! I hope you enjoyed watching uh, this first mission of Earth Defense Force 4.1. I really enjoy playing this game. I think it's very comical. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave comment, like, subscribe. Uh, one or all is very encouraged. Uh, thank you very much. Until next time, peace out. Wap, 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 wap,